to the channel. This is uh, Metal Marty here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for commenting, subscribing, uh, following the channel. So uh, yeah, thanks. So uh, this is uh, update 44. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done uh, none. The last update I did was a death metal update, some heavy stuff on it. But uh, I've listened to a lot of stuff for the last couple of weeks in between. Uh, okay, so in today's video, as it says in the thumbnail, I've got a lot of CDs today uh, to show you. I've got a few records as well. Uh, I have a bunch of CDs here uh, given to me by a mate of mine, a lifelong friend of mine since, since we were kids that high, we're now just that high, so yeah. But uh, so I've got uh, recently a friend of mine, uh, his name is uh, Metal Mickey, that's what we call him, not that Metal Mickey, it's another one, Irish Metal Mickey. So uh, Mickey C, uh, good friends with him since we were kids, as I say. So he um, came to me last week and said he had a bag of CDs in his attic. Uh, would it be interested in them? So uh, sure, absolutely, let's have a look. So I told him, yeah, to bring them over. So he brought them over to me last week and uh, went through them on you. So I kept the bag of CDs on you. There is some, I've seen what's in it. There is some I will keep. There is a few I'll be get rid of. I'll pass on to people, anybody who wants them or that. But uh, yeah, I recently, a couple of years ago, bought Metal Mickey's record collection from when we were teenagers as well. So you probably would have seen some of those records uh, come up in some of my videos before. But anyway, I'm going to fly through this because a lot of CDs, not spending any time on them. I'm just going to flip through them. So yeah, so a big cheers, Metal Mickey, for... Um, Irish Metal Mickey for bringing uh, these CDs over to me. As I say, I will be keeping some, but I won't be keeping some others. So first up that was in it was uh, Ugly Kid Joe, America's Least Wanted. Remember this back in the day. So I uh, can't remember the album, but I remember having it back then. Uh, up next, I don't know what other reason, uh, we have the bit of Beavis and Butthead, the Beavis and Butthead experience. Uh, this is probably from early 2000s, isn't it? 1993, God, it's really early, I've actually done it that fucking fell back. But yeah, bit of Megadeth, bit of Primus, White Zombie, Anthrax is on this, uh, and there's a few shit like Run DMC, so mix a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers, but uh, it's just a cool little CD to have. You know, it's not an expensive CD you're wanting to get, but uh, okay, up next we've got a double live CD of uh, Whitesnake, Live in the Heart of the City. Uh, pretty cool, well, it's actually it's not a double CD, pardon my French. There's two different concerts on it, that's what I was getting it from. So yeah, great great, 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 great stuff. That was uh, the really good era of uh, White Snake. you're gonna see again in the video. Today, up next, we got a copy of uh, 5150, uh, Van Halen, 5150. Don't have this, so I will be keeping this until I get to uh, pick up the vinyl of it. I have a few uh, Van Halen vinyls, so um, I do like Van Halen, good band. Um, so yeah, that's a cool one to get. As I said, there's some more White Snake. Uh, we got a uh, slide it in from a uh, 1984 slide it in probably me. this and come and get it on my favorite uh, white snake albums absolutely love this album it's just the harder side of uh, white snake uh, brilliant stuff uh, you're gonna see that shortly on vinyl so um, I'm not saying much about that up next uh, box and this was broke so I changed the CD box so this is Bon Jovi uh, not a big Bon Jovi fan but this album I actually don't mind this is Bon Jovi's first album a couple of good tracks on it um, but yeah, so um, yeah, it was cool to get that. I would, I would never have bought that, so I was just glad to pick it up that way. Uh, next up, he gave me a CD by a stand in line. I have listened to this. I did put it on my Instagram page recently. So this is uh, Impelitary, Chris Impelitary, and uh, what's his face? Uh, Graham Bonnet. Absolutely brilliant vocalist, Graham Bonnet. Love him. This is quite a good album. Uh, Pat Torpe from uh, Mr. Big is on drums on this as well. Uh, Chuck Wright, bass. I should know him. Uh, Phil Wolf, I don't know him. But uh, yeah, not a bad album. Plenty of guitar noodly shit on it, uh, instrumental stuff. Uh, there's a copy of Since You've Been Gone on it, but the Rainbow Song. I do prefer the Rainbow Song more, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad CD. Some quite good songs on it. Graham Barnett's great. Some of it sounds like Alcatraz stuff, which I do need to get badly because uh, I love Alcatraz. Sorry, halfway through the CDs. I don't want to make this video any more than 20 minutes, so I'm really trying to rush it. Uh, up next, <coughs> Iron Maiden Live After Death. I don't have on um, on vinyl, which I do want. So this is a uh, 1985 uh, EMI recordings. Looks like an original of '85. I can't see Mickey would have bought anything more recent anyway. So this came from his attic, from his old stuff. So I'd say it is a original copy of uh, Live After Death. If it just fell out of it. Some of the CD boxes are a bit rough as shit, but they need to be changed. But apart from that, the CDs are fine. Uh, might listen to that later on actually, because it's a great album. So that's uh, Iron Maiden, Live After Death. Next we have uh, Metallica Live USA. 
So we got a Metallica bootleg. I think this might have actually been mine when we were youngsters in our teens. I remember having this at one stage. So this is a... Doesn't say what year... Uh, oh, sorry, it is. 1985. So it's it's uh, the Ride the Lightning Tour by the look of it. Because there's no nothing from puppets or anything like that. Well, puppets wouldn't have been there. So yeah, so it's the Ride the Lightning Tour. I remember the quality being oh, dodgy enough. There is better demos. But um, it's just another Metallica for the collection. So uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, up next... Talking about guitar noodling, uh, this is Stevie Vai's new project, what's it called? Sex and Religion. Um, yeah, I'll probably never listen to this. Uh, it'll probably bore dead out of me. I don't even know if there's vocals on this. Excuse me. Um, uh, there's, yeah, oh, Devin Townsend does vocals on this. Okay, very good. Maybe I'll give it a try out. I know that, I don't know the album, so I might try it. Wouldn't have been something I would have bought off a shelf now. So. Excuse me, just drink the water there. Okay, more White Snake. I think he was a big White Snake fan. He even had a pair of me years ago, he had. Looked like Mike and Bolton a bit. Um, best of White Snake. Yeah, Best of White Snake. There's a lot of the mushy shit on it, but there is some good stuff on it. Okay, moving along. Uh, definitely wouldn't have bought this. The Jimi Hendrix concerts. Uh, obviously, fantastic, amazing guitar player, but uh, wouldn't be my cup of tea. Uh, it's all Jimi Hendrix live, it's all his classics, Foxy Lady Wild Thing, all that other sort of stuff. Uh, up next, uh, another guitar noodly shit, uh, Joe Satriani album, I don't mind a bit of Joe Satriani, I don't know this album, I think it's self-titled. Um, Forever? 1995 is it, relatively records, don't know, Joe Satriani, and yeah, yeah, Joe Satriani. <coughs> up next we have, uh, yeah. ZZ Top Squares Hits. Yeah. I don't think I'll be listening to that one. Sorry, Nick. Not my cup of tea. Just know that Afterburner and Eliminator albums. Speaking of Eliminator albums, there's uh, a copy of Eliminator. Yeah. Looks like an old copy of it. 1983 Eliminator. And last but not least, or last, I think I'm just looking to see if there's any more CDs that I'll pull out. Of Mickey's bundle, <clears throat> not like doesn't look like it. Anyway, the last one to come out or that was in the bag was a uh, Green Jelly Serial Killer soundtrack. Serial Killer soundtrack. Yeah, don't know much about Green Jelly. I know they were in the charts or about with Three Little Pigs, maybe Serial Killer as well. Copy or cover of Anarchy in the UK on this. Uh, don't know. I think they were kind of punky pop kind of crossover kind of stuff. I don't think they, were, they weren't metal as far as I know any, but. Uh, it's a cool looking CD, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's the CDs from Metal Mickey, Ireland Metal Mickey, uh, Mickey C. Cheers, Mickey. Uh, thanks for that stuff, mate. I'll be chatting to you soon. Uh, did pick up one CD of my own, uh, seen Gordon from the Doc Black and Hymns channel, sorry. Uh, he had this up on his, um, remember, the Metal Mickey video for the 10 uh, best title tracks of, uh, yeah, best title tracks, yeah. And uh, he had uh, the Four Horsemen, Nobody Said It Was Easy. So uh, yeah, I just sort of remembered that video when I seen Gordon putting it up. I went, oh flip, yeah, that's a great album. I need that album. And uh, yeah, it is fantastic. So it was released, re-released on music on CD uh, in 2013 or 15. I think it's 2015. Yeah, like I say, originally came out in 1991. Band with a tragic history. Uh, I'm not going to get into it now, but yeah, unfortunately didn't do as well as it could have. For lots of different reasons, but um, <coughs> excuse me, yeah. So there's nice little whack of CDs there. Uh, obviously, there's only some I'll be keeping, but yeah, there's always someone that's into something. So okay, moving along quickly onto the vinyl. I have a few vinyls here for you. A couple of reissues that come out this week. Uh, or sorry, the reissue come out this week. A new album. A couple of additions to my um, uh, what's it called? New wave British heavy metal stuff. Uh, so therefore, standing it. So there's two 12 inches. <clears throat> I'm not sure what to call DPs or twelve, just twelve inches, yeah. So the first up was uh, just discovered this band through Martin Popoff book and that the name of the band. Uh, so the band is called White Heat, and this is their single "Soldier of Fortune." So this is a four-track record, "Soldier of Fortune," "Love Maker." There are two songs from nineteen eighty-four, and there's two older tracks, "Right to Hell" and "Missing You" on the B side. Uh, apparently, uh, White Heat. They only released this is the only single soldier of fortune that they ever released they did record the other tracks but nothing was ever released no albums no eps no nothing just the one song uh it's very good released in high roller records 
this is just a kind of a, a novelty thing I, I picked up because I didn't know anything about the band. Obviously, nobody, not many, probably do unless you're really into the new Edwards heavy metal. But uh, just I'd seen this a few times on Amazon. I was just always fascinated. What the feck is that cover about? So um, looked into it a bit more. Apparently, the band was named after the James Cagney movie, White Heat movie, great movie. If you haven't seen a gangster movie. And this is a picture depicting, well it's not James Cagney, but at the end of the movie, the uh, top of the warm, uh, that moment. So uh, yeah, it's a good track. I mean, it wasn't too expensive. I know it's only a 12 inch, uh, 12 inch single. So we got that red label there. Uh, so yeah, so that's White Heat, something different. A uh, little bit of information about the band and uh, some lyrics for two of the tracks there as well. Uh, very raw, very demo-ish, I think it, it probably is just demos, but uh, as I say, yeah, it's raw, but it's not bad, it's not bad, not bad. I, like, I actually really like the title track, and uh, Love Maker's a great song too, but, uh, so yeah, so that was just like, an unusual one to find, uh, there's another band now, another UK band, this is from 1980, 12-inch uh, singles, two 12-inches, 12 12-inch 12 and a 7-inch on this, it's 12-inch, obviously. But uh, this is another uh, new wave British heavy metal band They're from 1980. So this is the band Quartz. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows Quartz. Still knocking about, still sounding great. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so this is uh, one of their singles from 1980. This is Ser Satan, Ser Satan Serenade. So you got three tracks on the first side of the 12 in Satan Serenade, Bloody Fool and Nick Hopkins guitar player. There's a solo from uh, Rollo Beethoven Live. I think that's from the live Quartz album that you see knocking about. Very good quality, uh, Sit and Serenade is a fantastic song, as is Bloody Fool, absolutely love it, great song, great band, need some more of their stuff. Uh, B-side is Nantucket Slayer Ride, 7 inch single, and Wildfire is on the other side of that. Uh, Nantucket Slayer Ride, made famous by uh, Mountain. Uh, this also, it was all fe features in the TV program, I'm not sure what the name of it was, but I'll show you. So what did this come out on? XYZ Records, is it? Is that the right name? <coughs> so, uh, uh, where was it going? Yeah, Nantucket Slayer, right? Uh, team from Weekend World. Anybody's old enough to remember that on the BBC, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, good track, Nantucket Slayer, right? But uh, Satan Serenade is definitely a cracking tune if you haven't heard it. And you're into no album, check it out. Uh, Court's still going, fair fucks them. I'm thinking about doing a video soon of uh, all the old, uh, early old school uh, new album bands that are still rocking it, still putting out loads of great albums, just like Angel. Angel Witch are putting out, put an album out, Avenger have an album out, uh, Quartz, there's loads of bands, so I might just do a video in the future of that, of up to date albums of all new album bands that are still going and still doing the business. So uh, yeah, that, that was, I'm really glad to get that because I love uh, the title track, Second Serenade. Very good. So that's the new album stuff. Uh, up next, okay, we got another bit of uh, UK heavy metal hard rock from 1984. You've seen the CD a few minutes ago, so always wanted this on vinyl, uh, have a few White Snake on vinyl, have uh, this and Come and Get It, as I said, one of my favourite White Snake albums, and uh, 87, great album too, but uh, this period of White Snake for me is fantastic with John Lord and uh, Cozy Powell, so I uh, always wanted this on vinyl, so it's the 35th anniversary of Gatefold Edition, uh, so you've got two records, you've got the, the US mix and, uh, <coughs> sorry, the UK mix and the US mix, so uh, this was released by, what was the name of the record label, blah. Yeah, it was released by Geffen in the US, uh, remixed by Geffen and put out in the US. John Sykes was on guitar and uh, blah, blah, blah. what you call it? Neil Murray was on the bass on the American one. Uh, he obviously had, what the hell, what was his name down here? Mickey Moody on guitar on the UK version. There is a slight difference in the UK version, you can, you can tell the difference straight away, but uh, brilliant album, absolutely love it. This is a heavier side of uh, White Snake back then so uh slide it in gambler slide it in slow and easy love ain't no stranger give me more time stand in the shadow hungry for love all or nothing spill it out guilty of love fantastic album not a bad song on it and uh i don't know if, if any of you ever able to see i don't remember actually seeing so you've got the lady on the front and on the back but then in the gatefold here you've got actually a picture of her face i don't ever remember seeing seeing her on anything before on, on the cd version or the tape version or anything like that so i don't know if that's a new thing but um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I love this and uh, the quality of this anniversary edition sounds immaculate. It's fantastic. Bass is just amazing and the great Cozy Powell on drums. What more do you want? Okay, where are we going next? I'm going to drink of water. Okay, up next we've got something from uh, the new wave of traditional heavy metal this time. 
I think this album just came out last week or the week before. And really follows me on Instagram or Facebook. They've probably seen it, had it up there. Uh, tell you the truth, first reason I bought it was uh, seen it on pre-order a month, six weeks ago more, and uh, seen the cover. So this is Red Shark. I seen the cover, and I'm big into sharks, as a lot of people know. And uh, wow, what a cover! I love it. A fucking Red Shark with a machine gun. Like, had to buy it. I bought it even before I tried it. So once I bought it, I, I listened to it a few times digitally. Uh, nice hard card. So these guys, uh, that's them there. They are from Barcelona, Spain. Uh, they're classed as a speed metal, uh, speed metal, power metal, heavy metal band. I find a lot of it, most of it's kind of uh, old school 80s sound and heavy metal. And there is some speedy stuff in it, a bit like Exciter or that. But uh, yeah, 10 track album, uh, fantastic, absolutely amazing vocalist. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, just looking for some innocent good songs on it. Uh, Mars Recall, Kill Your Idol, Digital Race, title track. Uh, the last, the four songs on the side two are just absolutely fantastic. The Death Rides is probably my favourite song on the album. Born in Ains is brilliant. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a slower, not a ballad, but a slower song. It's called uh, Pallid Hands. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out, guys. I'm really, really impressed with this band. I know there's a lot of new wave of traditional heavy metal bands going around, but um, this was a really good surprise for me. I've, I've spun this at least six, eight times since I've gotten it. Uh, fantastic album, check it out. Uh, Digital Race by uh, Spanish band, um, what are they called? Red Shark on Listenable Records. Really, really, really good album. Definitely worth checking out. Check it out digitally before you go and buy it. <clears throat> okay, back to a blind buy. This is another blind buy. Uh, just looking up some trash stuff. Came across this, uh, it's on indie recordings from 2018. So uh, yeah, Norwegian trash metal band. They are called Tantara. Uh, the album is called Sum of Forces. I'm just trying to get that right. So Sum of Forces, uh, yeah. So uh, this is their second full length apparently. It only has six songs, but it's still that regarded as a full length because it's about 38, 40 minutes long. Uh, very Bay influence, uh, she got your lyrics. Very Bay influence, trashed. Uh, really, really good. Uh, got a lot of, a lot of Exodus, Testament, that kind of riffs in it all over the place. Uh, so good tracks on it. Uh, as I say, it's only six tracks, but uh, decent uh, decent six tracks. I think there's just enough. Six tracks is enough because 38 minutes long. Uh, there is an instrumental on it. It's probably the highlight of the album. It's the last song on the album. It's called White Noise. It's just over 10 minutes. Very good, very reminiscent of kind of testamenty, you know, classic guitars kind of stuff and fantastic riffs. It's just brilliant. Uh, and a good singer as well, clean vocals. So uh, yeah, more checking out uh, Tantara. Some of forces, I don't say fears. Some of forces. Good stuff. Two to go. This video seems to be going on forever. Okay, another album that came out recently on reissue on Massacre Record 2022. Couldn't wait to pick this up. This is remember this from my childhood from 1988. This is Atrophy, 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 Atrophy. Socialized hit debut album from a band from Tucson, Arizona. Uh, once again, uh, this was a fantastic album when we were, when we were growing up and we were kids. Uh, cool art in the middle. Uh, they are very. They come out around the time of Sacred Reich and Flots and, and all them other bands. There, there is a lot of kind of flotsam in it. There's a lot of everybody's kind of riffs in it as well. Good, good vocalist. The, the vocalist is still playing with Atrophy. I think he's the only member that's in the band still. Brain Zimmerman. But yeah, a lot of Flotsam and Jetsam and Sacred Reich in this I can hear, especially in the likes of uh, Matter of Attitude, Preacher Preacher. There's a bass, a bass, not a bass, a bass solo, break, bass breakdown in the middle of it. it. Sounds exactly the same as Metal Shop from Flotsam and Jetsam. Uh, and it's brilliant. Uh, Beer Bong, Socialized Hate, uh, Best Defense, Rest in Peace, Urban Decay, Chemical Dependency, Killing Machine, Beer Bong. Beer Bong's a bit of fun. If you can write a song just shouting beer names, beer brands is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, really delighted to pick up that. Their second album is coming out, I think, around June now on reissue as well. On Mass it could be Massacre Records as well. So Bill Matoyer, Matoyer, he uh, produced this album back in the day as well. And it's uh, I didn't show you that. It's no biggie, but it's on clear vinyl. And um, so yeah, this was another another cool pickup for me. Really love this album. It was a great band. This I was fifteen when this came out, and this was a big a big hit for us then. We'd say. So yeah, so that was that Atrophy, and last but very not least, uh, a few of you guys have shown this on your social media pages. Uh, 
I know it was a limited edition, so I hope anybody that was looking for it managed to get it. I'm just so fucking delighted too. And this is the 12 inch single by Enchantment, uh, UK Dead Doom Band from uh, Blackpool. This is uh, as great as the eye beholds. Uh, fantastic. We heard, all heard this digitally. We all loved it. When the boys said that there were Cosmic Creations were releasing this limited edition, I think it was kind of white marbled effect, effect even and black, uh, limited edition, 200 white marble, I think, 100 black, could be wrong on that. Jumped on it straight away, couldn't wait to get it. Fantastic. Uh, so Ken, this week, sounds fantastic. Uh, and it was great to get another song <coughs> on the B-side, uh, The Beauty of Liars. I think it's an older song that they had written uh, around the time of the Dance the Marble Naked, their debut album, only album. So uh, Cold Soul Embrace, the new album's coming out, so uh, the tracks are gonna be featured. As I said on my Instagram page, uh, this is gonna be one of the albums of the year, going by the two tracks. Paul Jones' vocals on this are fantastic. The second song, The Beauty of Liars, my God, you need to hear it. Uh, if you haven't heard it, you need to just hear it. It's fantastic. So good. I knew, I knew th their stuff was brilliant, but that just it blew me away. I just had to keep listening to it. But um, yeah, so, back to you and the boys, fantastic release fair play to you, man i can't wait for the album um, and a good way to stop my video to round my video off this week so uh, yeah enchantment hope you got it if you were looking for it because i think it's very limited and that's it so that's it guys i'm afraid to look at the, the time on this is probably long after all those cds and that so i'll leave it short and sweet update 44 thank you very much everybody so much for liking the channel for commenting subscribing subscribing our subscribers are still going up which is amazing uh, so thank you all, uh, have a great weekend and I will chat to you all next week. Take care. Cheers. Good luck.